Hi, I'm Dr. Logan from the School of Education. Welcome to TALIS. I would like to brief you a little bit about the intelligence behind this room. Uh, it is an X space. And I don't want you to, uh, to be distracted with what you see. What you see are impressive, but nevertheless, what is going to be truly impressive is the pedagogical practices that takes place in this room. Generally, <coughs> um, the initiative from the School of Education is to drive a transformative teaching and learning experience. We want to produce teachers that are reflective in nature. And in order to facilitate a curriculum experience that will generate a, a reflective practitioner, it is important for us to use spaces like this. Because if you follow the Jack Miserau's argument for a transformative teaching and learning experience, he talks about three dimensions. That is the learning experience, the reflective nature of the curriculum, and the opportunity for students to participate in a discourse. So this room is intentionally developed to facilitate those three things. So if you notice, the rooms are taking a drastic paradigm shift. If you notice, there is no stage where in a traditional setting, you will have the teacher being the sage on the stage. So the stage is taken out, and the focus is a the paradigm shift where the focus is now on learning. And if you notice, they have no central focal point. The learning can take place anywhere. And most importantly, if you notice, there will be all these different screens so that the attention is dispersed from the center into individual clusters. Um, we will also have the reflective nature where students could uh, jot down the immediate ideas onto the writing surfaces as later you'll watch uh, Mr. Andrew's video explaining how all the different writing surfaces become useful when students are brainstorming or reflecting. And another important feature that for us is the ability for students to share and participate in this greater discourse. And if you notice, the, the technology facilitates that. See, the biggest point, the, the key here is that technology facilitates, facilitates the pedagogy and it's not the other way around. So that in this room, there's ample opportunity for people to share, there's ample opportunity for people to collaborate, and most importantly, ample opportunity for people to co-create meaning. Uh, so once again, I'd like to thank you, uh, thank you personally for coming to Taylor's. I'm sorry that I couldn't be here with you uh, to share this directly. Thank you very much. Hi, and welcome to Taylor's University. My name is Andrew, and I will be uh, showing around what are the uh, facilities in next space and what is it used for? Come, follow me. Now this is the considered the heart of the X space. It's the lecturer's console table. It has all the control buttons that a lecturer need to have to control the presentation uh, uh, projection to the main screen. For example, if I would like to project what uh, is being presented at table 5, the slide may be interesting. What I need to do is just press number 5 over here. By pressing number 5, you can see the whole screen will be changed and table 5's presentation is being projected to all of the room. We have provided lecturers two types of uh, cable connection. First is the HDMI. Most of the latest laptops and, and uh, even smart devices as with the appropriate adapter are able to connect their devices using this HDMI cable. It's easier. But there are some lecturers who are using the old laptop which, which are still using the, H, uh, the VGA cable, VGA connection. So we still provide them that. It's pretty much the flexibility that we allow uh, lecturers to, um, to use the, uh, the X-Space. There are five tables in X-Space and each of the students' tables are connected to a TV monitor. Table 5 has one, four, three, two, one. Okay? And this allows students to collaborate within a group. You know, usually when a student would like to work on something, a group project, a student has a laptop and type down, people at the end were not able to see what's on the screen of these students and so on and so forth. Now, with, with the devices able to connect itself to a TV monitor, wherever I'm working over here, the students can look into the TV, give comments and edit it, and that's the collaboration we are talking about. I know some of you may be asking, why, why with the glass top? Uh, why, why the table need to have a glass top? Is this for protection and things like that? No. I think uh, 
with, with the progress of our research and, and also feedback from lecturers, uh, we find that the tabletop, this, this tabletop, glass tabletop is very important. Now, a student or even lecturers don't even need to have paper to demonstrate or write things anymore. One of the key features of Rackspace is that we would like students and lecturers to have ample of writing space. You can see there is a white bot all over the wall and even a table glass top can be written on with a marker ink. For example, if a lecturer would like to discuss something with students, he don't need or she don't need to look for a piece of paper and demonstrate or go to the whiteboard and write. He can just use the marker ink and just write and explain a certain diagram and so on and so forth. And that kind of opportunity not only save time but definitely give uh, uh, lecturers much freedom and convenience. The aesthetic of the X space is also very important. We just don't want to build a room which is uh, minimalistic and simple and, and, and plain. Colors is important. Now, you can see in this classroom, we have the, the uh, little bit of yellow and green, and the other classroom as well has own team as well. They have different all colors. The reason also with that, even the chairs and table, even, even the chairs are selected carefully to, to give that kind of ambience, the kind of feel uh, where students, when they come in, have the, the momentum and the spirit to, to study and learn new things. And with color chairs and so on, uh, it helps, it definitely helps uh, in terms of uh, for lecturers to, to manage the class. For example, okay, these following students, please go to the gray chair or green chair or blue chair or red chair or, or black chair. It's partly of the management of classroom and makes it easier for lecturers. But then again, it's, it looks like when, when the classroom is very colourful and our students love it. Okay, I think that's a very short tour of X space and uh, I think pretty much I covered everything. If you have any more questions, you, you can just email me or just ask any Taylor's University staff or lecturers. They'll be happy to teach you or to share with you what are their, some of the experience in using the collaborative classroom, the X space of Taylor's University. With that, ciao.